we are back with another home creation. I know summer's almost over, but here's a fun creation that'll make you forget about school or homework and will make your winter and schooler a bit more pleasant. Today we're making penguins, a really cool craft. See what I did there? Okay, so to do this, you will need a styrofoam ball, googly eyes, which you can find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, black paint, which you can also find at Hobby Lobby. I got mine at Hobby Lobby, but you can find it at Michael's as well. A paintbrush. Okay, then you'll need a, a kind of long stick like this one. This is just a pencil and it's fine. Just make sure it has kind of like a point because you can stick the styrofoam ball in it to make it stand and you can rotate it and stuff. You'll also need scissors, hot glue, an old newspaper or paper towels, but in this case I'm using a party plastic tablecloth so that you won't get your surface dirty. Then you'll need orange and black foam paper or cardboard paper and again I got these at Hobby Lobby and then you'll need a possibly black marker which is to draw on the styrofoam ball and markers are better because they write better on styrofoam when we get started you will need to do first is outline the styrofoam ball and with a pen or pencil or marker and you need to make a circle that will be the belly so the dots really help so you won't mess up when you're doing the circle then paint with black paint only outside of the circle. So I'll get my paintbrush and my tablecloth. Go ahead and get your pencil or stick and stick it right in. Now, so right now I just started painting the my styrofoam ball and I just cut out of the sponge this little sponge because the paintbrush doesn't seem to be working as well because it leaves darker areas and lighter areas so use a sponge if it helps you Now my ball is all done and it's all decorated except for the belly. Careful not to touch with dirty fingers the middle. So everything looks great. If you want, you can go ahead and in the lighter spots, go over it again. And so now we're just gonna have to let it dry. When the paint has dried, start gluing the, the penguin's features on and start with the eyes and still make a reference point to the rest of the features. Dopo dobbiamo mettere il pen in supervision qui sopra. Sì, sì, come ho fatto il lato. And place them right above about here just remember not too low or you we won't have enough space for the beak okay 
and do the same for the other eye. And have a parent supervision, so or have a parent do this part, so you won't burn yourself. Okay, your penguin right now should look like this. Now that you got your eyes, start by cutting out two shapes of your preference for the wings with the black foam paper. Okay, I have my black foam paper right here. So, move this aside for now. Okay. Now get your pencil or pen to outline the, the wing shape and you can make a cool shape or just a regular shape of the penguin's wing. Today I'll be showing you the regular shape of the wing. And this process you only have to do once because you can just cut this out and place it under other piece and just re-outline it. Now just place it on another piece of foam paper and try not to waste a lot of space. So I just put it below the one I already did, right here. Okay, so I did the outline of my second wing and just cut it. And remember, you can also use cardboard paper, but it just feels cooler and looks cooler with the black foam paper. Okay, we can put this aside because we won't need it. If you want this as I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little bit of wave to the wings. So get a marker or stick and wrap it around and hold it like this for a few seconds. And don't worry, it'll kind of straighten out once in a little while. So you can do it again if you want. So, use the eyes as a, as a reference point for attaching the wings. I'm going to take this stick off because we don't need it anymore. So, here are the eyes. I'm going to put it about right here. About the middle, a little higher than the middle of the eyes. Okay, about right here. And I'm gonna use this to make a sign so I know where I'm supposed to glue it back on. So, Again, get your hot glue, and on the opposite side of where the curve of the wave is, so right here, oops. So, I've already glued the wings on, and now we're gonna do the feet. So I have the orange foam paper right here. And do two rectangles I'm going to start by one so I can just copy it down like I did with the wings now cut in two curves 
on the shortest side like this. First outline it. Actually, a penguin has three. So, one, two, and three. Doing the dots really helps. Okay, once you got it like this, cut a just one curve on the opposite side. And just go ahead and cut it out now. Okay, well, I've already done one foot and I'm doing the other foot. Careful not put, to put that hot part squished onto the foam because it will melt it and it will stink. Okay, so this is how it looks right now, but we still need the beak. You can put this aside for now and pull out again your orange foam paper and now for the beak start by cutting out of the foam paper two trapezoids and this is a trapezoid if, for those who didn't know and Okay, so once you got your two trapezoids cut out, put the the part with the pencil marks on facing up so that you won't see it when in the beak because it's going to be like this and pop it out like that. Okay, so. This is going to be kind of tricky at the end of the beak. So, get your hot glue and hope there's enough. Okay. Put this on top of it. Push on the side so that it'll ouch, it'll stick. So now get the two um, sides and push inwards so that it'll make this kind of double V. Now, here comes the tricky part, guys. Okay, this will look really cute once it's done. So, get in a working position and 
Okay. On the not the shorter, the smaller circle, but the bigger circle. So this one, not the tiny one. On this side, make sure your fingers aren't right on top right here. So with this, with the hot glue, you're going to do the edges all around it. Hurry up because it cools down really quickly. Okay. And just place it down. Oh, isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. So, this is how it turns out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll try it at home. And thanks for watching, and thank you, the watcher, for helping me make this video. Make sure you go check out his blog in the link right here, and follow him on Twitter, at JJStevie003. Bye.